Hi there, welcome to Martin Says. Today, I'll be talking about the Louis Vuitton One Red. Let's go! What is up? I hope you're doing great today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Martin Conde, and I mostly make videos on the latest hype trends, sneaker news, as well as great alternatives. Now, if you're into those things, don't forget to subscribe and always be updated. With an NBA collaboration under their belt, Louis Vuitton has teamed up with the non-profit AIDS charity Red for a second time to present a collaborative sneaker designed in support of the fight against AIDS. The original trainer was presented during men's artistic director Virgil Abloh's debut spring-summer 2019 show for Vuitton, going on to become a classic menswear sneaker. Closely resembling the iconic Jordan sneakers with its outsole looking more like a reproduction of the Jordan 3 outsole but not necessarily copying but paying homage to the legendary shoe to which Abloh grew up with. This latest model is dubbed the Louis Vuitton One Red, closely relating to the existing Louis Vuitton trainer sneakers, with each pair arriving in a white cap leather upper accentuated with the brand's signature monogram motif alongside striking red overlays. Additionally, the pair comes with a leather tag embossed with the fashion house's signature LV logo. Rounding out the style are hits of branding found on the toe, lateral, soul and tongue. This take on the signature leather sneaker, which are limited to just 150 pairs in selected countries worldwide, comes in the scarlet and white colorway as a nod to Red's powerful messaging. And from every sale of the trainers, which retails at £890 or around $1,200 or 50,000 pesos, $200 will be donated to Red. Launching on December 1, 2020, which is also World AIDS Day, the Louis Vuitton One Red will be available via the brand's online website. I'll be including some links down below in case you are interested. A whole slew of brands have previously linked up with Red, including Balmain, Beats by Dr. Dre, Mont Blanc, Giorgio Armani, NetJets, and Vespa. Red got its name because it is the color of emergency. In 2006, Red was founded to engage businesses, brands, and people in a massive health emergency, the AIDS pandemic. Today, as new diseases threaten to undo progress of the AIDS fight, Red is supporting the fight against pandemics by partnering with the world's most iconic brands to generate money for the global fund through Red branded goods and experiences. To date, Red has generated $650 million for the global fund to support HIV AIDS grants primarily in Isotini, Ghana, Kenya, Lesotho, Rwanda, South Africa, Tanzania, and Zambia. 100% of that money goes to work on the ground. No overhead is taken. Global fund grants that Red support have impacted 180 million with prevention, treatment, counseling, HIV testing, and care services. One of the reasons for the nonprofit success are its founders Bono and Bobby Shriver, who pulled a lot of strings to have influential people participate in the cause. The star power encouraged a lot of people to be more aware and engaging and with their intelligent partnership with the brands on limited edition items provoked buyers to spend their hard-earned money on these meaningful costs. I think that this is a great organization and a great partnership as well. And if you are someone with disposable income for such luxury items, then it would probably be best to go with one that supports a great nonprofit. I think this is still a huge splurge and I would not personally spend my money on that. I'd rather give all of it to charity to be honest. But if getting a really cool limited edition sneaker is the goal, then this luxury sneaker is a great buy. The sneaker itself is pretty decent having got gotten its inspiration from a true icon, I think Virgil did very well on this collaboration as well on Louis Vuitton's series of trainers. Now, if you are unable to get a pair but still want to help out, you can either directly donate money to an AIDS charity or go for Louis Vuitton's other red collaborative product, a $185 red candle where every earning for each candle sold, $60 is being donated directly to the global fund to fight AIDS. Master perfumer Jacques Cavalier 
Billet Trid selected the finest quality natural ingredients to develop the candle's fragrance, designed to invoke the universal emotions of love, freedom, warmth, and purity by blending a puny, sweet, peppery, and floral notes with the fruity vibrancy of raspberries and the burning candle comes alive with optimism. Visually, Mark Newson's creativity and craftsmanship sees the Louis Vuitton red candle transformed into a design object. The white ceramic container is hand cast and the natural leather handle is hand sewn in signature Louis Vuitton style. The wax contrasts with the matte red wick lid and packaging, the color acting as a visual reminder of the candle's association with red and the fight against AIDS. Michael Burke, chairman and CEO of Louis Vuitton stated, Red's very courageous fight concerns us all and we at Louis Vuitton will continue to champion their values and dedicated work. We are pleased that our candle will help in furthering the fight against AIDS. I think this sneaker would be a much better purchase. I mean, $145 for a candle? Might as well donate the whole $185 to the fund and buy less expensive candles. But if you do have the budget, then I think the candles would be perfect gifts for your loved ones. I can easily imagine someone who enjoys relaxing, bubble baths and spas and so on, loving this. Not only are they masterfully crafted, but the meaning behind them and the cause they support is just heart melting. I'm sure any recipient would be flattered. I mean, I wouldn't mind receiving a special candle on Christmas, especially if it's from Louis Vuitton. So what do you think? Are you ready to spend that much money on these luxury items do you think the sneakers are worth it what about the candles let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you haven't yet do subscribe to the channel and be updated with the latest hype trends sneaker news as well as great alternatives once again this is martin says and see ya